What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, we have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Tension in Anambra as unknown gunmen invade bank and host Biafra flag. Could this be a trap for ESN? Watch out. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. Here are the news in details. No fewer than 10 gunmen invaded one of the banks in Anambra on Thursday and hosted Biafra flag after destroying vehicles in the premises. The incident happened at Abajana Njikoka local government area around 4 p.m. yesterday. It was gathered that the gunmen shot sporadically, but no one was killed. The attack took place barely hours after the indigenous people of Biafra leader Mazi Namdekanu raised the alarm over alleged DSS plan to attack banks in South East and put the blame on ESN. He alleged the ploy was to accuse IPOB of being responsible for it. The shooting in front of the old generation bank scared passers-by, customers and staff who took to their heels. The gunmen, according to an eyewitness, drove in black Honda Pilot sports utility vehicle. The source further said they set fire on a Nissan Pathfinder SUV with registration number UR640KJA and smart glasses of a Honda car with registration number FST456AC, all parked in front of the bank. Confirming the incident, Anambra Police Public Relations Officer Ikenga Tochuku said the command was on the trail of the hoodlums. According to him, these hoodlums were pursuing their targets. When they could not get him, they started shooting sporadically in the air. They smashed some vehicle, but we cannot ascertain at the moment whether anyone was injured or the actual damage caused as a result. The command will not allow such hoodlums to run over Anambra State. The investigation are on, on to actually unravel the cause of the incident. All right, guys, there's a very serious tension. Um, uh, not just this, all right, not police, but rather some private institution have come under attack this time around by the unknown gun men. And this is very uh, disturbing. But uh, there's something that is very, um, that's point of interest here. Before this time, now they kind of raise an alarm. It's in Sahara Reporters. If you go to Sarah Reporter, you're going to see that uh, news. Now they kind of raise an alarm that um, there is an intelligent report they've gotten that DSS is going to attack a bank. And the sole purpose of attacking the bank is to put the blame on on uh, IPOB, you know, to put the blame on IPOB, you know. So, now, uh, what is actually the game plan? That was in the title I put, could this be a trap for ESN? A lot of people in the Southeast look at ESN as their champion. In fact, a lot of them even don't, um, they don't endorse this newly created um, uh, security outfit by the governors of the Southeast. They look at it as playing politics with security, you know. So the people believe more on ESN. So maybe, could, could it be that there is a campaign of, of calumny according to what Namdekano said by the government, to actually smear the image of IPOB and ESN to damage their reputation so that people will not um, endorse them, like them, or trust them again. People will look at them as a criminal organization. Could it be, this is one of the, could it be this is a campaign? We don't actually know. I'm not trying to absolve ESN or IPOB here, you know, I, I am trying my best to be neutral, you know, uh, sometimes when I'm neutral in certain incidents, people say I am taking sides, so I'm trying to be neutral, it's possible it could be IPOB who did it, they didn't rob the bank, 
you know they didn't rob the bank the bank was not robbed so this is, could not be a criminal uh, case maybe probably they are registering their their protests it could be a form of protests you know violent protests they are trying to register their protests in form of destroying uh, vehicles after all even the UGM who have opted now they have not come out to identify the purpose of attacking government institution you know if you see that they destroy properties around police station they destroy even in in, in the correctional facilities they destroy vehicles around that area in fact any a vehicle around that area is gone you know so now you you look at it very well that is it esn that did this it is unlikely because uh, even is it the unknown gunman that did this you notice that the unknown gunmen, each time they attack any uh, government facility, they've never hosted their flag. Yes, they've never hosted their flag anywhere, you know. And um, this is actually very strange. Uh, destroying a, a a bank, which in itself would have been looked at as being a criminal activity, and then putting your own footprint that you are the one who did it is very unprofessional. Um, when once criminals rob a place, they don't put anything that can lead to their track. They don't put anything that can lead to tracking them. In fact, if they see the way they cover their track, they cover their track and move away. They don't put anything. So putting putting a, a this thing, could it be sponsored? I mean, guys, what do you guys think about the, this? It looks uh, very strange that um, Biafra and the agitators will not go this far to um to put a Biafra flag you know to put IPOB flag in a place that they just are either they rob they will not do that it's totally unlikely that's what people look at some people are blaming that it is a booby agu you know you know before this time a bubagu is on now they've launched it it is on you get so the uh, the clash between Obibube Agu and ESN is loading. It is reaching the breaking point. So, and if you look at it, it's after the launch of the Obibube Agu that um, attack in banks began. Before this, even the unknown gunmen, who people do not know, have never attacked banks. Their grievance is against the police and the military formations. Only they attack security operatives and not civilian target. They never attack banks. So, but I don't know what do you guys actually think about this, please. I want you to drop your own um, comment about this. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much.